Hey, hey, what's up? My name is Brett Martinez. I'm doing a video every day until I turn 22. Today is March 24th. I believe this is my 31st, 34th? Yeah, 34th video. Today I went to a car show in New Jersey. It was quite nice. Got to see a lot of cars. And uh, yeah, I spent time with one of my friends. I got to know him a little bit more, especially on the car ride since the car ride from there it's about like two or three hours so it's quite a ride i got to um, drive a little bit more i like driving especially since i did get my license last year and i practice almost every day but it's been it's been a while since i practiced so that three hour drive back was uh quite a practice and plus i get to listen to some music talk to my friend a bit my friend is from um from israel so you know, talking a little bit more about his perspective on, on the war, how that has affected him personally, his family, his friends, some friends who have been kidnapped, this and that. That is a very touchy subject, but what I can understand is that there's there's pain in all all sides. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say to that. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it. I'm very tired. I want to talk to my girlfriend, and then I'm going to go to sleep. So this is kind of like this little debrief before, you know, after, after I sleep. Before I sleep, you see that? I'm already tired, guys. I'm so tired. But hey, I'm having a blast. I'm having fun. Tomorrow, Monday, we're going to beat out, beat this week up. I'm going to beat it up. And then Friday, I'm going to get my paycheck, and then I'm going to be finally up to date. And living paycheck to paycheck sucks, and that's why you should start a business or side hustle or something else. I'm talking to myself, but also I'm pointing at you, you, whoever's watching this. But that that's not my advice. I never said that. I never said that. <laughs> um, yeah. I want to talk a little bit more about what I, the video I posted yesterday as well. About... Um, so starting to save myself for marriage. I started, I had the talk yesterday with my girlfriend and we came to this decision, mutual decision to, to uh, preserve ourselves, to get to know each other more, even though we've been talking and really every day for two years, it's mostly to also purify our, our heads. I don't know about you, but when you go into any social media, you see a bunch of shit that you sh you don't want to see. <laughs> so yeah, um, purifying, trying to desens desexualize your mind, and and just be in a better mental state when you finally are together. And just today, I felt this is my first day. My first day after that, and I felt pure. I felt like. I know nothing would have come between me and her. No person, no girl, no nothing. But having this feeling that, okay, no, no sexual desires, like nothing. I felt, I felt relieved, like, like weight off my shoulders and I can use this energy, transmute it into something else. That's what I really felt. And it felt nice. Basically felt nice. And I was surprised because yesterday I got a lot of views for some reason with that video. So, hey, if that's all, that's also a journey that I want to, I want to keep on talking about, keep on giving updates. I've kind of uh, screwed, like skewed or diversed, um, die, die, yeah, yeah, die. Yeah, you know what I mean. So this channel is basically a documentary how it is to live in 2024 based on an average person view. And my view on it at the moment uh, has been mostly about like my personal stuff, but I also want to continue talking about, you know, news of today and what things are, you know, what's going on. Um, recently, there was a massacre in Russia, Moscow and 40 or 60 and some news outlets it says 40 some say 60 people died it was from a concert shooting so somebody shot up a concert shot up like a, something something about music 
you know, you can either call it festival, but it's really like a gathering of music. In any case, horrible stuff, horrible, horrible. It was interesting how, how it happened in Russia, where you normally be like hear about that stuff, horrible stuff, shootings from United States, and I imagine it's it's always is everywhere. Just that the United States have a lot of coverage on it, because because yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, it's just horrible everywhere, basically. I do want to continue doing um, news, but I want to be honest. I don't want to do it every day because news kind of depresses me. And um, not every day is like something that you you really need to know as relevant. Like I've been trying to do some news, like a little news feed for you guys, for me, for the future, for future reference. But it's kind of like stupid stuff. I mean, I'm trying to really hard to find good stuff. I'm like this, you know, this little massacre. I'll, well, that sounded horrible. Little massacre. It's not a little massacre. It's something way bigger. And I apologize. This isn't something little. But this isn't something that I want to show to you. To you, audience. To you, kids. To you, myself from the future. This isn't something that I want to reflect on you. There is blood. There is going to be massacres. There's going to be an every every year. That's how it is. I want to show things that are shifting and changing. And I want to show how an average person deals with it. And how maybe in the future, in a hundred years, when everything comes back around, because this is all a cycle, maybe this might be either an insider, maybe even a guidance. I may be able to do this right. Not gonna give advice. I'm gonna tell you what I do, what I see, what I feel, and we'll decide. Have a wonderful night.